Hello everybody, this is Psycho Penguin Bricks, and today we're going to be doing a review of set number 21109. It is the LEGO Ideas Exosuit. This is a fairly rare set. It's still not that rare since it's a LEGO's Ideas set, and those are all relatively new in the grand scheme of things. But you can find this, I got this for a super good deal on Amazon, $26.00. And you you find places selling it for eighty dollars right now, so Amazon's definitely the best place to go. I wanted this set for so long, but I knew it was super expensive until I saw on Brick Vault that it was on sale on Amazon, so I got it while I could. So first, let's start off with the actual Mac. We'll move these two things off to the side. This is not the most stable Mac. It's more of a display Mac. It's got so much greebling. It's insane. Yeah, as you see there, it's very easy to knock over. It poses really well, but it's just hard to get it into poses. Like, if I want, if you wanted to get it to stand straight up, it's a little difficult to do. See, because he's the weight is not centered very well. It's more better. It's more better. It's better when you have the legs actually splayed and um. And he's kind of crouched down more. Now, the way these legs work is really interesting. It's actually... You could do it like this. I don't think it's supposed to. Well, yeah, you can. It's actually in the box if you look up there. That's what it looks like. But I just don't think it looks good. Because in the instructions, that actually told you to bend those joints. Because that really makes it look a lot better. Like, those legs do not look as good. If you look at that. They look okay. But when you bend this back and move that forward to make it kind of that knee joint kind of thing, it looks just so much better, I find. Oh, as you, as you see, it's very, very unstable of a build. Um, so, yeah, it's got it's a really cool build. It's got those nice um, plates on the side of the legs, really cool. The um, main kind of body area does flip open so you can get a figure in there and you can hold on those two little sticks in there. Um, at the top there's an antenna and some other steam stacks. The way these, they constructed these arms are really cool. They're identical. That barrel piece is just really interesting. You can open and close all five fingers. You can twist the arms. You can articulate. This one has elbow, shoulder, and wrist movement it also, and it has knee, ankle, and hip movement so it has all the movement a normal human would have which is nice because some mechs don't have that the only thing that's annoying is those blue pieces sticking out right there as well as on the back and now let's take a look at the back actually um it's really nice looking with those tubes and these pieces which i have no idea what they are they i think they're hubcaps but i didn't think i thought those pieces were newer um, really nice smoothing out right there. That's really nice. They didn't have to do it. But overall, these idea sets are all really nice quality, especially this one. Um, again, it's probably not really for play because it's fragile as well. I mean, when you have this many pieces for greebling, it's um, kind of hard to make it nice and, st and uh, stable, you know? Or, well, it's kind of hard to make it nice and like sturdy. And with all these fragile pieces, they're really easy to fall off. Especially the antenna at the top. It's fallen off so many times. So yeah, let's go into the mini figures and stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, and there's also this printed piece at the bottom. Cool, because it's not like they needed to do that. It's just a little extra thing. Let me get my mini figure stand. So we can look at these minifigures. I'm not gonna, they're the same except for the face print, so I'm not gonna take the one out of the mech because it's just a lot of work. And this one comes with the um, walkie-talkie. Let's zoom in on this thing. Get the light out of her face. So as you can see, they're following the original classic space logo theme. They look really nice. Just green, which is interesting because they didn't have that, so it's really cool that they gave us the face prints normal. Um, Nothing on the back. Really just simple stuff, and it looks cool. It's really cool for, like, Classic Space fans to get a new color of Classic classic Space um, uniform. Nothing on the back. Just that little 
air tank. So that's I thought that's that's really cool, you know. Um, you also get this little let me unzoom. Get this little like loading dock thing, which has a few little um tanks of probably gas, and they have little lights on the side, and it's really stable. It's cool. And you also have this um turtle. Actually, let me get something really quickly. If I can get it as fast as I think I can. Um, stand by. Here we go. Exosuit instruction manual. This is a really cool instruction manual because it does explain so many things on this vehicle. So, first of all, this is just normal. It's cool how they had the heads used. Um, it's just a little extra build. They had a few extra pieces. So it um, tells you about the builders. It says in space since 1978, and it talks about the classic space and how they were like kind of um, inspired by that. And it has little pictures. It's kind of hard to fit. This. Let me back this up so you guys can see a little more of what I'm actually talking about. That's a really cool picture. Look at that. How it's got all the exosuits lined up. That's a cool one. Those are the designers. Um, again, the designers. Looks like they kind of re they redid the pack art or the pa art for them. Um, so let me try to find something of it showing. Yeah, look at they have little pictures right there where it's got like sacked and it says clamp feet, which is really cool. I think. They do it again. They call that arm the cluster arm with the barrel. The two of blast exhaust. The um, quantum processing unit, which are these things up there. It's really interesting. I like that. And then um, power generators, which are these things up top that stick out the top. And I, let me... Go to the back because I believe it talks about the turtles a little bit more. If I'm not mistaken, no, I don't think it does. Okay, and then at the back this is kind of cool. It has some other um some other idea sets like the Back to the Future one, really expensive already. Same thing with the Minecraft one. And the Curiosity Rover, which is really expensive since it is a Cusco set. Um, yeah, it's really nice material. They did they gave it that nice, like, thicker kind of thing. And let's look at the box real quick before we end this in here. Really nice art in the box of, like, a sandy moon-like planet. Like how they did that. Oh, is that. And there's the figure. Since I didn't give you a look of that one, there's the face print of that. Um, and then the box, it just shows you, apparently their names are Ivy, I'm guessing, even though it's spelled with a Y, and Pete. Um, yeah, and then it kind of shows you how to get, um, Lego Ideas project done. So, yeah. Another idea set, this is my second one. I have the Big Bang Theory one also. And I gotta say, this is much, much better, and I really love the quality of these sets. They're both amazing sets. So, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about something else, um, that's, uh, I wanted to talk about the LEGO community a little bit, and I'm just really happy to be going to a convention, and I think it's something everyone should experience if you're a LEGO fan, because it seems like a family, and it's really fun to meet people, and, uh, to interact with people on their YouTube videos, and it's just, it's just really fun, so... As always, I'm, I've been telling you guys for a while, I'm going to Philly Brickfest. Tell me if you're going in the comment section below. And like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends about me so I can try to get to that 100 subscriber mark by the end of the, by my second year anniversary, which is in June. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.